I'm tying a shimino. Um, just recently went to Florida, and this was the fly we used for snook. I'm going to use this for smallmouth bass here in Maine. It's a simple, quick, easy fly. You take your plastic dumbbell eyes. I'm going to tie them right up close to the hook eye. And you do a figure eight. And I go back and forth till it straightens out. And then what I'll do is, just like tying a clouser, I'm going to go under the eye, over the hook, under the eye, over the hook. And I'll do that a few times just to lock it in. I'm going to wrap my thread back down to the bend of the hook. Here I'm going to tie in my marabou. Roughly the hook, the length of the hook there. I usually start on the side, do a loose wrap. As I come tight, it's, just, it's going to secure it on the top of the hook shank. And what I'll do is I'm going to wind down the hook shank just to build a little bit of a body. And then I'm going to go right back to where I tied in the marabou. I'm going to trim off this excess. And here you can tie in any type of pearl flash. I got just some angel hair here. What I do is I fold it over the thread. I'm going to come up and on the side. Do a couple wraps. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to come in. And this time I'm going to go up on the other side. Pull it back. And just gives the tail a little bit, little, little bit of flash. I'm going to trim off so it's even with the marabou. I am going to tie in my pearl estes. Right where the marabou was tied in. I'm going to wind my thread all the way to the other side of the plastic eyes. I'm going to wind my estes all the way up to the bead, covering the hook shank. I'll do a couple wraps in behind the eye here. Then my last one, I'm going to go under the eyes. And I'm going to do two or three wraps. Trim off the excess, do a couple knots, and that is it. I'd fish this on an intermediate or a sink tip line, and it's a great bait fish imitation. It's ready to fish.